this is one of a series of um, online opportunities we offer to our members. Uh, let's call it added value. So really, they're getting your expertise for an hour to ask questions on anything and everything to do with people today. So we've done this uh, on uh, a number of topics in the past, how to set up a business, um, how to import and export. Um, so really, it's for businesses that wouldn't have the benefit of in-house counsel or HR departments, or they might be challenged with recruitment to ask questions. So the majority of the roles that we would, I would recruit for personally, um, are obviously skilled on-site work. And really the, the challenge for us has been to find the, the, the people who are skilled and, and match them with, a, with, with, with the employer of choice really. But for us, so to talk about the work life and home balance and working from home, I tend to refer to what we've done here at, within the business at Castle. Um, so we, we offer um, the ability to work from home as and when required. I think like Rob mentioned before, everyone, everyone's an adult, they're all, they've all know what they've got to do. They're all given that, you know, they're all given the flexibility to do it. If they feel like they can do that job working from home, we don't stand in their, you know, we don't stand in their way. And everyone is given the tools to be able to achieve that. Because I think that's the, I think that's been one of the things that you, you would fall back on is that to offer the work from home, you have to be able to actually do your job as well as you could do it if you were in the office. So businesses then have been almost um, pushed into making sure that everyone's got the right kind of, I guess, equipment, the right kind of ability to get funds, trans calls transferred through, whatever it might be, to make sure that they're accessible while they, while they are working from home. I think we've accepted that there isn't, that there's no longer a, a cherry tree for us all to pick from. So the growing your own theory is a really good strategy. Yeah, it's long term and it will take a bit longer, but it reaps rewards. But it does mean that you've got your apprenticeships have to be good quality apprenticeships and no longer acceptable for them to be just fetching tea and coffee and absolutely learning nothing. So developing it so it's a good apprenticeship one that's really valuable to you and to the person is really the way forward when the national living wage goes up by 9.8 percent it's actually the squeeze for the people above them so those first tier managers those supervisors they all get squeezed because their rates are not going to go up by nine nine plus percent um, the other thing to bear in mind is that the uh that labor published i don't know if people have read it they're a new deal for working people. So they're basically going to scrap the national living wage and replace it with something uh, with something else. They're going to introduce a genuine living wage for all adult workers. I don't know what that's going to look like, but the, the point is that they're going to change the remit for the low pay commission so that actually the minimum wage will, for the first time, um, take account of the cost of living. Um, so we might see some change then. That's just, people might look and go, that's just another cost of business. We will finish there, but Kate, Thomas, uh, thank you for joining the conversation. It's put a wonderful little comment in there to finish. Inclusive workplaces lead to better retention and creativity and productivity. And then as the employer, all we're looking at is ways that we can make our workforce happier, healthier, because of course that leads to increased productivity.